I know a lot of people wonder, why does he have big goats and why does he have them in the back of his Tacoma? And why does he have a goat named Bukaki? That's Kevin. Let's go find out. Hello, Steins. Oop. I always get a little nervous. Make sure there's no lions out here gonna eat him. Hey, Steins. Good morning. That's Bukaki. For those of you who don't know him, this little guy is Kevin. He's very handsome. And this is why I have goats. We're going into the very deep back country. Let me introduce you to my goats. I only brought three, I have six. That's Kevin, and that's Bukaki. And this is my lead goat, Stains. Come Stains, let's go, uh, let's go for a little walk. When I get to camp, I'm gonna show you what we carry. Everybody always is very curious. What do they have in their packs? Well, these are super light. These guys can carry 60 pounds easy. We've got about 30, 35 on them, a couple beers. We're all really out of shape, so you're gonna hear some huffing and puffing today. I got the microphone on today. I bought one of those cheap $10 microphones. Don't get those, they suck. It's windy, it does get rid of the wind, but my voice just sounds crackly and terrible. Spend the extra money, I got a better one coming. But here we go. It's a pretty day, it's a little, a little warm, it's like low 70s. And I'm gonna show you the creek here in a second. Supposedly there's some pretty big fish in here, we'll see. I'm just excited to get out. I haven't done anything fun this year. And the goats haven't either. We haven't done this. We went out, I believe in March, looking for some antlers this year. Did, well, we found one, but we had a good time. The boys are being good. They're all, we're all fat and out of shape. Bukaki, I had to adjust his saddle. He's put on so much weight. I'm gonna show you the river here in a second. It's like a big creek, but it's beautiful. If you're wondering what's up with the hoodie and the straw hat oh shit I just about ate shit right there my old man got all kind of skin cancer cut out of him and he he scared the shit out of me so i try to keep that evil son off of me as much as i can look at this beautiful creek you ever see anything that clear absolutely gorgeous probably wondering where the big guy is my great pyrenees well sadly I noticed he's been limping the last couple days. He's walking a lot better now, but I just didn't feel like I should bring him with a limp because I ain't carrying him out of here. He's too heavy. So guess who's on guard duty tonight? I'm not going to sleep worth a shit because we have mountain lions, wolves, bears, you name it. And there's a ton of wolves out here. I'm basically trolling for cougars right now. So this is going to be a, a fun night. I definitely miss having him because I always sleep like a baby with him. Goats hate water. Watch this little tiny creek. They'll go out of their way to avoid it. Big babies. The nice thing is there is nobody on the trailhead. Nice thing about coming camping on Tuesday. I decided to come this week because I think Friday hunting season starts and this place will be packed wall to wall with out of state hunters. So I decided to come up and get in a little camping. Hopefully get away from some people this weekend or this week, I guess I should say. Word on the street is there is a really cool hot spring up here. You can see it's a pretty well used trail. But uh, hot springs, yeah, let's do that. It's gonna get cold tonight. My hat blew off four times, so Bukaki said he's gonna be nice enough. He's gonna carry it for me. Good boy, Bukaki. Thank you. I love you. Come stains. <laughs> you guys are gonna get a little rest in the shade. We haven't gone hardly anywhere, but we are in no hurry. It's early. We're only going a couple miles. It's hardly uphill at all. Kevin, you're being really dramatic. I know. I could draw you guys up here out of shape. Sorry, fellas. Now look how pretty this river is. Can't wait. I'm mostly up here for the beer drinking. Stains, he's a good boy. I love stains. I put my water on him because he doesn't give a shit. I can come right up, just grab it. He just hangs out because he just likes to be part of the team. And I don't even have to carry water. It's really nice. Hi, huh, buddy. Should go boy. It is so beautiful up here. I know I'm pretty fortunate to live where I do, and this place is like 30 minutes from my house. And I can come do this on a Thursday. No, it's Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is. How awesome is that? That's when you know you're living the good life. Huh, big boy? 
well, let's see. Well, let me answer some questions I know I'm going to get. So this guy is full alpine. Kevin, he is half alpine, half sonnen, and half kiko. That's three halves. Bukaki back here, he is half... Hey, he knows his name. Hi, buddy. Bukaki is half kiko and half alpine. Took me a minute. I had to think for a minute. Kevin, we're going to give you a break because you look like you're out of shape. I can't believe how fat you got. Mom has been feeding you guys well. As you can see, no ropes. I don't have to call them. They just follow me like dogs. And a lot, I get so many tree huggers pissed saying that I beat them. That's why they follow me. Yeah, you morons. That's how it works. You beat an animal and they follow you. No, that's not how it works, you dumb bastards. What happens is they follow you because they love you and they actually enjoy this. They know what's coming when I pull the, put the rack on the truck. But they actually love this. Wait till you see Kevin soaking in the view here in a little while. All right, let's go, fellas. Giddy up. Yeah, watch. Yeah. Did you see me beat him to get him moving? Dumb bastards. Look out that nice hole. There's one thing about us fishermen. We love nice holes. It's deeper than it looks. In the camera, it looks like it's about six inches, but it's like four feet. Tell me that is not the beautiful backdrop right there. Sweet Mary Joseph, I was trying to film these guys and I just about went into the drink. I don't know how I didn't fall, but that that's straight down, folks. And you can really see how steep it is. Uh, yeah, that trip almost got over with real fast. We just ran into three nice ladies on some bikes out here. I guess they compete all over the world doing downhill on their, their bikes. So that was pretty cool. I'm going to try to follow them when I get back so I can see how they do. They're up here training. You never know who you're going to run into. Everybody's pretty friendly, usually. They spooked the shit out of my goats, though. They came running right into me. Scared the hell out of me. And Kevin, double time. Bukaki's pulled into the second place. Stains is bringing up the rear. I'm sorry, that's Kevin. It's like NASCAR out here. Look at Kevin. He's like, I got you, Bukaki. I'm coming for you, big dog. The leaves are already changing. Can you believe that, fellas? Hey, Bukaki, you look a little nervous. I do like this microphone because you cuts the wind out, but the sound just doesn't sound good. So hopefully my new one gets here and I spent a lot more on it. It's got good reviews. Hopefully it knocks the wind out and you can hear me. That is a big ass anthill right there. Let's go check it out. I think this is the biggest anthill I've ever seen in my entire life. This thing is two and a half to three feet tall. Let's see if there's a yeah. let's 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 see if there's anything in it. Oh here they come, red ants too. Those things will bite your face off. Anyway, I'm gonna leave these guys alone as I just punch a hole in their giant. But look at the size of this thing. It's freaking huge. Things as big as you, Stains. Okay, we've had our first dumb moment. They didn't want to come up this hill and they decided. They're going to go down there for some reason. Now they got to come back up. Sometimes they're kind of dumb, but we love them. Look at Bukaki smiling for the camera. Good boy, Bukaki. Don't go that way, Kevin. That's danger, danger. Come up the little cliff. Come on. Come. Come, Stains. Oh, jeez. Come on, Kevin. Good boy. They're going to make it hard. They could have just come up the trail. Uh, they're gonna go the hard way. Come on, Kevin. Come, Stains. Let's go. Good boy, Kevin. Gonna do a little off-roading. Come, Stains. Good boy. He's gonna do some serious off-roading. That's like straight down. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Good boy, Kevin. Come on. And Stains is gonna be smart and turn around. I've said cum stains a lot more today than I thought I was going to when I originally left my house. Good boy, Kevin. Yeah, that's a good boy, Kevin. Look at him kicking it into overdrive. Put it in four-wheel low, didn't you, big boy? Who the hell were you out? There's some shade right over where Bukaki is. He is just going to make it super difficult and go down that way. So I guess... Oh, jeez. I see why stains didn't want to go that way. That's the trail, and it just goes straight up that hill. Screw that. 
we're gonna go down we'll probably just camp here you guys are tired you guys have done a good job we've gone far enough let's uh let's go set up camp and have a cool one let me give these guys a bit of a beer believe it or not beer is actually really good for goats bukaki loves beer so does kevin as our great Mormon leader brigham young once said this is the place look at this hole hell yeah that thing is deep i'm gonna catch me some fish in there i'm gonna go have a beer in honor of brigham young all right i think this is where we're gonna camp the goats are chilling i'm gonna get their packs off that's the first thing i do before i get a beer and before you set your tent up you want to look around for things called widow makers you see how that tree fell over it's dead so if you don't know what you're doing camping and you're going backpacking always look for dead trees so they can blow over and fall on you the live ones you got a lot better chance of staying in the ground than on top of you this place looks pretty good that big hole is just right over there this is the place let's do it stains yeah the goats are tired i'm not going to push them we don't have anywhere to be and this place looks pretty badass i might just stay here for two nights i don't really see the point of pushing the goats they're out of shape and i don't want to i don't want to hurt them because i like these guys especially this one good boy kevin yours is coming off next I'm gonna take these off and you guys can go get some yum yums can't get the boys to get a drink getting these goats to drink water is extremely difficult Believe it or not, they don't require much water. So I'm gonna come sit over here by the creek for a minute and see if they won't take a drink. Come on, fellas. Let's see if they're gonna get a drink. You want some water? Free water. Ah, that was hard. Come get some water. Yeah, see? You'd think these guys were thirsty, wouldn't you? We ran into the nice ladies again and they said it gets pretty nasty up there, and if you make it to the hot springs, the bugs are so bad that it's miserable, the horse flies. So we decided we're not even going to try, huh? Just free water right here. Look at that delicious water. I feel like I could drink it. And I haven't even had a sip yet. He's smelling. What about you, Bukaki? Can I interest you in a nice glass of water? I always get people give them some water when they're huffing and puffing. Well, here you can see that they couldn't give less of a rat's ass about having a drink of water. They just don't require much water. They get most of their liquid out of the vegetation they eat. All those delicious leaves are just full of water, aren't they, baby? Mmm, water. So yeah, they don't require much actual drinking, which is kind of nice because they carry all my water because I can't find my damn filter. Probably wondering, what does he put in those packs? Well. I've got some beer and a chiller, and I just saw a spawning salmon swim through there. I did not expect him to make it up this far. So this could be pretty freaking epic. I scared it, probably scared everything out of here, but they'll be back. I think I'm gonna catch some fish in here. That was pretty cool. I remember when I was a young lad, I used to come out in the middle of nowhere backpack and I'd carry all my own shit and I was trying to save weight and I'd be like, I would damn near blow a goat for a beer right now. The goats are feeding. They won't drink. I'm sitting by a creek and having a nice cold one. And I've seen some fish and I don't know why I'm not fishing yet, honestly. A possibly low tea. I don't know. I feel like I should be fishing, but I'm just, I'm just soaking in the view. May I show it to you? Just look at this view. Look how clear that water is. I'm sitting in a nice cozy chair, watching fish swim by. I can be here for two days. I'm in no hurry. I don't think I'm gonna run into any people. Just enjoying life right now. One thing I'm enjoying so far, usually when you have goats, the bugs are terrible and I'm prepared for them. I have bug clothing, bug spray, and they're not bad. So this trip's gonna be epic. I'm gonna have a good time. Goats aren't going to get their ass kicked. I tie them away from me, though, because they do attract bugs. I just saw the tiniest little rainbow come up and take a bite. There is a strict fire ban right now, so you can only use a little stove. I'm going to even be careful with that because it is so dry out here. This place, the whole West is on fire right now, including my state. So I'm going to be really careful today and make sure I don't burn the place down. But I didn't bring anything to cook fish because I like to cook them on an open fire. And that ain't happening this trip.
The boys are already frisky again, and they are just chowing down. Kevin looks like he has an udder right now. But, yeah, they're feeling good, eating. I'm going to let them eat quite a bit, and then I'll probably tie them up in a little while so they don't get into all my shit. I'm going to let them get their fill, though, and I'll show you what I do with them at night. It's called a low line. I cannot believe I forgot. I brought music. I'm not hunting. I don't have to be quiet. There's nobody around me. I am. Uh, I'm going to be that asshole. I'm going to listen to some freaking reggae, have some beer, and enjoy life the way the big man upstairs intended it. Fishing, listening, listening to beer. I've only had a half a beer. Who am I even talking to? I am losing my mind. I've been out here for almost three hours, and I'm going crazy. I know a lot of people call me from the big city, so I'm going to show you some of the gear the goats carry. You're always wondering what's in there. And I got a little solar charger so I can power my stuff. Why I bring that is I like sharing it with you guys. A lot of people that follow me are from the big city and they don't do stuff like this and they love watching my adventures. So I'm bringing it to you guys. Got the tent set up and here's a tip for people that don't camp a lot. If you ever go backpacking, don't do this. These are my coolers. They're right by my tent. You want to move these. You got to be bear aware. There's a ton of bears out here. So I'm going to move these a long ways away. Worst case scenario, I lose my coolers and my food and I go home. But you don't want these by the goats and you don't want these by your tent because they will eat you. They're gonna get confused and they're gonna be like, hmm, human tasty. But they don't wanna eat humans, they want our delicious food. So don't do that. I really like it when they hang out clear over there. Normally they're all up in my ass and this has been kinda nice, they're clear over there. Usually they're into my food, trying to lick the tent, trying to get into the tent. Look at this magnificent beast.